It's September 20, 2018, 11.42 a.m. I'm calling Section 8. And I know she's not going to answer, so I have to leave a message. But I want to record this message, too, on this. Please leave a voice message for Lindsay Ellison. At the tone, please record your message. When you are finished recording, hang up or press pound for more options. Hi, Lindsay. This is Stephen Weinberger. Um, still having problems with everything with this apartment and uh, you need to get involved now. I need to move to a new place. I've already uh, in the process of uh, suing and going to small claims court against these people. I just got test results back and now I have uh, uh, food allergies and vitamin D deficiency from the mold exposure. This has happened in the past. It happened in Colorado and I suddenly developed food allergies for nine months. They couldn't figure out what it was, but now obviously it was some exposure to something. And then I was, after nine months, boom, I wasn't allergic to any foods again at all. And then now I'm starting to get allergic to foods. I've got some test results back for peanuts and walnuts. Now they have to do an extensive allergy uh, testing. I gotta see an allergist. And I already know that you know I've had breathing problems, walking pneumonia. Every time I go into that apartment, I get sick. So I cannot live there. It's unlivable conditions. So I need to move from that apartment. And you know I've called many times before, and it's taken you a long time to get back to me. I already called last week, and I haven't got any call back. So I'm recording this. Uh, phone call this message for more documentation because I need to have everything done possible as soon as possible I need to give them a seven day notice to terminate the lease and then I need to move all my stuff out of there quickly I've already got legal aid I've already got public health department involved I have lots of people involved I've actually even called the news station channel 8 news and they might do a story on this so I you know want you to just please help me out I don't want to have to get you involved in a lawsuit either or section 8 it's your job it's section 8's job it's the government's job to find me a livable safe livable place to live in so uh, please uh, get back with me as soon as possible I need to get this resolved as soon as possible uh, also you know all this has just drained my drained me financially I have to all these I have hospital bill prescriptions lost wages I have lost thousands of dollars from this stupid uh, apartment having mold in it I've told you uh, in the last phone call I believe that I did a mold test at home and it came back positive from the lab positive for alternaria mold so I have total proof of everything I've been recording everything so there's no way that anybody can deny anything and also now the the uh, the office the com apartment complex over there at Cross Creek is is holding my mail even though they're claiming that they have nothing to do with it but I I have not received my mail my mailbox is suddenly broken and it can't and it won't lock so the the mail lady won't leave mail there she said she leaves it in the office but the office denies it and none of my mail is can be found now so I had to put a hold on my mail because I know they've been tampering with my mail now please please for the love of God call me back as soon as possible thank you <laughs> I'm sorry but I have to get serious with these people because no one seems to take me seriously like nobody thinks that this is a problem Oh, big deal. Just live with it. No, I'm not living with it. I can't. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll just continue to keep you guys updated with everything as it happens. God bless.